Hello Space Engineers and welcome to Aries Colony on Wellington 6012. How is everybody doing today? I hope you're good. I'm good. I'm really happy to be here on Mars. It's been a long time coming and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, but first things first, let us turn off the weather because we don't need that on. And you're probably saying, hang on, that's cheating. Okay, so just first of all, uh, I'm in creative mode at the moment and I haven't started my game proper. I just wanted to cover off how I've set up things and some mods that I've got installed and that sort of carry on so uh, this is I guess the introduction and we'll, we will get into the game at some stage uh, and yeah if you want to skip all this maybe future Wellington can put up uh, when I actually start proper if that makes sense um, but yeah I just wanted to cover off some things so uh, let's just go into this view not that view this view um, so first of all let's just talk about the elephant in the room why am I standing here next to a pile of smoldering wreckage rather than on the bridge of a quite capable and well equipped Mars lander um, so when I decided to come to Mars which was I think back in the sort of 20-ish episode of Hyphestus Prime uh, I decided way back then that I was going to hit the reset button and that uh, I was going to start from scratch and the only way that I could do that is really to somehow crash or some calamity um, and here we are so as much as I put in a lot of hard work into the Mars lander and the um, Pyroist uh, ship it uh, they were always going to get blown up that was always the plan in fact I've been quite looking forward to doing it um, not so much the actual necessarily blowing them up but just the cinematic which I am just so happy with how that cinematic the trailer came out I think it's uh, my personal favourite video uh, that I've created so far. Uh, yes, so that's um, that's where we're at here. So we're starting from scratch, and even though there's this flaming wreckage, uh, I won't be using this at all, because uh, I have no tools. So I don't have anything to actually uh, grind it down with, so uh, that's a bit sad, but all part of the challenge. So I have... Uh, actually, sorry, just back to the Mars lander. Now... I will publish that at some point, same with the Pyroes, uh, Pyroes uh, ship, and I will do a video with that, well when I say I will, future Wellington will, and yeah I will publish that video of it actually landing, actually yeah, um, deploying, landing, and letting all its vehicles out, so uh, yeah, you will see it land on Mars, it just won't be part of the story, so I don't know when that's going to happen, but it will happen soon-ish. Right, so um, yes, here's the, the, the red planet, Mars, and uh, yeah, I did actually get past Wellington to record how it was set up, so over to you, past Wellington. Thank you, future Wellington. So this is a standard new game, uh, custom game, and I'm using the star system. And I generally turn off autosave because I do have my own way, my own convention of saving games. I'll get future Wellington to go through the mods, and if we go into here five times, I think gives me 2,000 litres in my inventory. So that's my sort of stock standard. Keep all those as is. Just for a little bit of a change, we are going to turn on meteors. And we're going to turn down, right down to the lowest density, the uh, asteroids. I wish you could even make them a bit more scarcer than what, what that density is. Uh, I don't really know the difference there, but uh, put that up to 20... Sun rotation, five hours is the, it suits me, you know, that, that's how long the days were on Hyphestus Prime. I can bump those max objects up a little bit. Going to turn block limits off, because why not? Build big. Um, what else we got? Auto healing, I'll turn that off. Uh, these are all good. Can I go, oh, turn the scripts on, need that and voxel hands i normally actually have the voxel hand in my menu because you you can enable it when you're in creative but not in survival but you can use it in survival if it's already in the g menu uh, i mostly use it on hyphestus prime just to remove those little tiny little bits of voxel that sometimes got missed when you were digging out something um on mars though i will be using it uh a bit more openly you'll know what i mean when you see it uh, random encounters that's on so that's all good oxygen yeah all these are sort of stock standard drones yep 
uh, unknown signals are going to be critical to especially the start of my game uh, you'll understand why when it happens um, progression I'm going to turn off I did progression on Hyphestus Prime I feel like I've unlocked everything I've just done it again on Triton and I just I really feel like it's just going to be an annoyance I'm going to have enough challenges as it is um, everything else is on, weather's on, uh, I'm going to turn on the enable friendly missile damage because I should be punished if I accidentally shoot myself. Right, and that's that, so that's uh, that's the game set up, we'll get into it, back to future Wellington. Thank you past Wellington, so uh, yeah before I did the trailer I created this world and I just did a Mars drop pod which landed here, so this is a random location, I don't know where I am apart from the fact that Olympus Mons is over in that direction and just ignore that, uh, and there's a polar ice cap, I don't know where it's north or south, over in that direction, and there's a hill there. <laughs> oh, and Europa is, I think, on the other side of the planet, because it's not in my sky here. Hmm. Right, uh, and then before I deleted it, uh, I grabbed the data pad out. So, on the data pad will be the location of our nearest trading post, which I hope is not too far away, although I did not see it when I flew in, so uh, it could be absolutely miles away. Did I? Yeah, make a GPS out of that. Uh, oh, there it is. Nearly twenty k's away. Hmm. Okay. So uh, yes, we uh, we will be we will be running. <laughs> uh, I'm only doing this sort of uh, for theatrics, I guess. Uh, what I'll do is I'll actually once I've explained what I'm up to, uh, we will I'll teleport over there and start the game proper turn on the survival mode and those sorts of things because look we're already almost out of food so anyway uh yes so what i didn't uh what past wellington didn't tell you about the setup of the planets is i have altered a couple of things so first of all there are no boulders on mars so resources are going to be a struggle for me they really are and that's intentional because i just felt like it was too easy for me on hyphestus prime and there was a number of reasons for that which i'll sort of uh, go through so there are no boulders on mars i managed to figure out how to get rid of those i can't remember how i did it because i did it a while ago but yeah i've done that so um the other thing is the ore resource the ore patches are very few and far between so what i did with that is i went into the what do you call it the the, the data files but it was the the planet generator i think that's what it was and yeah the ore patches are actually set out on a, on a map so it's a it's a png file so you only need to, to sort of alter that which is what i've done and i'll get future wellington to put up on the screen now what a normal map looks like so this uh yeah this is what it looks like for mars pretty similar for other planets so like on my triton never surrender scenario every single resource i need is within about 2k's of the base it's just ludicrous the amount of resource that's there um so yeah i've really added, so i'll put up on the screen now or future will future wellington uh, what uh, i've come up with and you can just see the difference there so i don't i don't know what it is percentage wise maybe it's five percent or whatever maybe one percent um but as you can see right here where i'm now uh i can't see any so yeah it's going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. The other thing is, uh, uh, again, it just made life too easy for me on Hyphestus Prime. I've just made the last minute decision to put a mod in. And this mod is called Survival Stone. And it's by QB Freak. And basically, stone in refineries, whether that's basic or advanced, will only produce gravel. You can still refine stone to get uh, iron and whatever the other ones are, silicon and, and uh, nickel, in a survival kit, which I'm not intending to do. I'll just keep that up my sleeve if I get really desperate. Um, but yes, so I basically turned off the stone, uh, yeah, stone resource. And what else have I done? Um, yeah, the other thing is why well, actually we'll finish off the mods since i started on those i've got them written down here 
uh, I will go through so th these th these next mods are um, just really to help with the video so making life a bit nicer for you the viewer so we've got sneaky sounds and that's by Splitzy so uh, we all know who Splitzy is and that just quiets down all the um, all the things the the drills and grinders and that sort of thing to make them tolerable I've also got the interior light booster and that's by D-R-U-P-L the Rupal hmm. uh, and that's uh, just to brighten things up because I I do forget like when I play the game on my screen I can see stuff and then in the edit I can see stuff and then I publish it on YouTube and it's all dark and I'm like oh I forgot to turn the light on so I apologize in advance if that happens uh, I've also got the Milky Way Skybox and that's by Darth Biomech and that uh, really doesn't make any difference down here you can kind of see the Milky Way but when we get into space that will look awesome and uh, yeah actually just uh, is that the ones that sort of help with the graphics yeah I think so um, modular encounters which speak of the devil there's one up there so I've got that turned back on, so I did have that on Hyphestus Prime. So that's by Lucas, so that the modular encounter spawner is the sort of, I guess, the base mod. Let me just get that right. And sort of, I kind of want to go in the right direction. Uh, yeah, and I've uh, got the air traffic going. I haven't got ground occupation going. So again, I just felt like, as much as I enjoyed the ground occupation on Hyphesis Prime, low. in the end I started ignoring it, and I think I turned it off in the end, because those bases were just, they were pretty easy to actually to take over, and I was just getting far too much resource out of them, so yeah, that's what I've done there. And I will make things more dangerous in regards to the modular encounters. Uh, I'm just going to keep it pretty safe until I get started, but yeah, I will be switching. I, I don't even know what's available, but I'm I'm sure that there are there are ones that are a bit more aggressive that will come chasing after me. So uh, yeah, I have to have a bit of a dig into that. And I've also got Build Vision. That's by Dark Helmet because it's like having my left arm chopped off when I haven't got that for doing rotors and pistons and things. So that's an awesome little mod. And Automatic LCDs by M Master. Uh, a script so yeah I might even I think there is a, a script out there that helps you manage where your stuff goes you know you can sort of set ca cargo containers for certain things which I've done using sorters but I don't know if that's that's the way moving forward so I have a think about that so uh, yeah that's uh, that's where we're sort of at with um, the world uh, the other thing is no jump drives I've decided not to use those again Oh, and the big change is even though there is an atmosphere on Mars, I'm treating it as though there is no atmosphere uh, to a certain extent. So no atmospheric thrusters and no wind turbines. So I'm going to be hydrogen engines, reactors or solar, um, probably solar to start with. And yeah, so that will make life interesting. Because again, on Hyphestus Prime, power, just the wind turbines, power was never an issue. So that will make uh, make things interesting. Oh, and the other thing is I've also got a Daily Needs Survival Kit by... Oh, uh, oh. Uh, Scalia Bjorn? Apologies, I forgot they're wrong. So that's, uh, that's new for me as well, so that'll add a bit of an extra challenge. Um, yes, so that's uh, that's it. And yeah, we're sort of uh, nowhere near the trading post, so I'm just about dead. I'll be uh, spawning over there, and uh, yeah, we'll Energy get into it. Critical. Um, looking forward to this series, yeah. And I'll talk a bit more about what I'm doing as, as I'm doing stuff. I suspect I will have time. Mm. All right, so we'll uh, we'll see you soon. Alrighty, and here we are at the uh, at the outpost. Now I've done the edit for that first little section, the introduction, and a couple of things I forgot is uh, no wind turbines, no atmospheric thrusters. I am still going to have parachutes, so that's why I haven't sort of uh, wrangled away to turn off the atmosphere completely. And gosh, this is quite large. 
Um, the list of mods, I will I'll probably put them in the description of this video. Um, and when I load those future ones on, I'll put them in their relevant descriptions. This is humongous. And uh, yeah, I will also put the list of mods that I use on the description of the playlist. So that's what I've done with Hyphestus Prime and uh, the Triton Never Surrender scenario. So this is pretty cool. And I'll also put them on my website as well at some point. Um, wow. This, uh, I've never seen a station like this before. It's um, actually... It's not attached, it's only attached at that merge block. So that ladder's not attached, that thing there's not attached, and it's not attached under here. So this can actually launch off into space, that's pretty cool. It's real cool. This must be part of the um, industry update, because I've never seen one of these. Uh, speaking of which, I have now purchased the industry DLC. So uh, in in our um, G menu, so we've got, uh, got the blocks, where is it? Uh, industrial blocks yep so all these are unlocked now so uh that's uh that's good looking forward to having a play and with all of these big red button yes that's going to be useful uh yeah and i've really populated my uh toolbar with what i've used on hypestus prime so obviously just the spots there for the drills and things so um fingers crossed i can purchase some in the in the vending machines that are up here I can get up. Ooh. Yep, I can get up. Uh, same with the daily needs. I I've not used it before. I just hope that I can purchase food and stuff. I think you can sort of scavenge it, scavenge it out of unknown signals. But I'm just wondering if you can actually buy like coffees and that sort of thing, whether that charges you up too. So we'll give we'll give that a whirl. Speaking of unknown signals, is our first one. Okay, we'll have to chase after that. We'll have a quick look around here. So this is going to be my base of operations to start with. And let's head in so that I can get oxygen first of all. Yes. Uh, we'll have a look in here. And in here. Oh, ammo. That's good. And then I'm pretty sure I can... But I just need to check that I can recharge. Yes, I can. So that's uh, that's good. Because I really want to just start with nothing. That was my intention. So on Hyphestus Prime, I had that little survival kit that I dropped. Um, if I get really stuck, I'll spawn in another one of those. But um, I'm not intending to get stuck. Now, hopefully, this is not vehicles in the store. Don't be vehicles, don't be vehicles, don't be vehicles. It's not vehicles. Fantastic. Otherwise, yeah, I was pretty much going to have to spawn straight away. So, yeah, I sort of want to trade my way into getting stuff happening. So, what do we got? So, the first thing's going to be power cells. Power kits. Solar cells. Okay, we might have to start off with solar. Hmm. All right, we've got hydrogen as well. Interesting. Right, um, we will have a look at these acquisition contracts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these because they don't expire, even though they say you have to do it in a certain amount of time. There is actually no expiry time. Once I get mobile, I'll start using these search contracts to make some money. But I'm going to accept that. I'm going to accept that. Just try and keep stuff to the size of my inventory. So that's not going to fit in my inventory. Uh, neither will that. And that's all there is. It's a bit poor. Hmm, okay. Uh, let's just check out our money. So yeah, we've got 10,000 space credits. So that's good. Right. Uh, okay, well let's go and get that unknown signal. I do need to preserve I need to preserve my hydrogen but I also need to be able to get places and back actually I might just put that ammo back in here and can we put that in there? yeah alright we'll leave that in there 
Alright, let's go for a quick fly. Oh, I haven't got anything to grind it down with. Okay, so... <laughs> Uh, gosh, <laughs> it was almost a disaster before I even started. Uh, let's have a look. Grinder, 3,000. Efficient grinder, 6,000. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll have a look around here first. So what's down these stairs? Oh, another cargo container. Nothing. Oh, that's a bit unfortunate. There was a cargo container up here as well, wasn't there? Nothing. Oh no. Oh, but these will be good for storage. I'll be able to sort of stick stuff in there. And down we go. There's a door there. Oh, we can keep going down. Okay. Right. What's in here? Oh, bedroom. Okay in there oh money yes anything on that one more money awesome and more ammo that's good nothing else so we okay um can i get off the ladder midway or shall i just fly up on this Yeah, I'm going to have to be very careful with my jetpack. Oh, more money. These beds seem to have an awful lot of... Oh, of course. They're, uh... It's tucked under the mattress. Keeping the money under the mattress. Do these couches have any inventory? No, they don't. Okay, uh, and... Yeah. Oh, gun! Woohoo! Sweet! Alright. That's good. Uh... Not that I think I'll be able to shoot much with that little little handgun. But I've got no ammo. Uh, okay. But I think that was standard ammo that I put in that other one. Oh, gosh, almost fell. All right. Um, okay, I think we're going to have to, nine minutes, we're going to have to buy a grinder. I think that's going to be money well spent, and I'm going to buy that, that, uh, not elite, but, uh, not enhanced. Where was it? There it is, proficient. $6,000, we can buy that. Awesome. Just, uh, put that money in... Oh no, it was there. 2106. Cool. Okay, we're uh, rapidly getting organised. So, considering I started with nothing, I've already got some stuff. So, we'll put that in there. Now I have it. Awesome. And we will put you in there. Okay. So, how far. It, those doors are a bit annoying. How far can I get on a hydrogen charge? So 90... Chewing through it. So the sooner I can get a bottle, the better, really. Because I know from experience those search contracts normally take a, a full bottle by the time you fly out to a few circuits and find the things. It was on Hyphestus Prime, though, so... Uh, yeah... Oh, I think we're going to make it most of the way. Alright, so... As much as it'll be nice to get some of these unique things... Carpet gloves. Uh, really, it's what's in the actual container itself is what's important. So, yeah, these will be pretty critical. So, steel... We got some a, a steel tube and a motor there, so that's uh, that's good. Parachute. Um, the batteries I might even have to potentially merge on. I'm thinking. Critical thing will be what's in here. Okay, all power things, money. All right, so can we eat seeds? 
resistance food. Okay, what are we on? 30 and 23. Okay, so that coffee has topped me up. Mm. Oh, look, and even then there's motors and a computer and, and that. So, yeah, I'll finish grinding this down. We'll have a quick look in the inventory. Okay, so, yeah, each of those has given me some pretty good stuff. Yeah, okay, I guess I can't eat seeds. Mm. It'll be a learning thing for me, the uh, daily needs. I'm unfamiliar with it. So, can we make it back? Actually, what I might do is just stop here. And I'll run the rest of the way. Because then I can, um, I can hop up. Rather than having to climb the stairs. Alright, so uh, yeah, this is how I sort of want to start the game. Uh, just trade my way into existence. Um, yeah, those unknown signals are going to be pretty critical uh, to get them organised. So I'm just going to have to chase after them pretty quick. I don't know how, how long food and water last for. And I don't actually know what that thing is, that bottom one of it, it's dropping. Is that like Stanima or something? I'm not sure. It's dropping pretty quick. If I stop, does it go back up? No. Yes. Okay. So that must be rest. Right. Interesting. Okay. Um, I could have read the guide, of course, but... <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm working on that. Right, so I also need... Maybe I'll buy a coffee as well and just see if that tops it up. See if there's any food in the dispenser. So there wasn't any food in the store. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so getting mobile is going to be one of our priorities. Because I'm not going to be able to run everywhere. Because in all reality, that unknown signal was pretty close. Alright, shall we, uh, shall we jetpack from here? Okay, I'm going to jetpack. 16 should be enough. Uh, up we go, up we go, up we go. Fuel low. Made it. <laughs> Fuel critical. Alright, I'm going to put my stuff in here. So I'm going to put that in there. And that. I'm going to put... Oh, those doors are already annoying me. I'm going to put my food in this one. So the daily need stuff. And then I'm going to put in here power kits and that sort of thing. I should probably have a couple just in case I get stuck. Alright. Uh, nine. Uh, cool. Now, can we purchase green cola? So, 94, buy one of them, and hydrogen. So I'll just buy one, and, okay, that's topped me up. Cool, alright, I'm glad I didn't buy 10. I don't know if I can fill hydrogen bottles through there. Uh, let's just try... So we're on 74, so if I drink that... Okay, I'm still on 74. Mm, I guess that's not linked into the daily needs, which is a bit of a shame. Hmm, that would have been cool. I was expecting... Yeah, okay. Uh, right, let's just finish having a look around, and then I just, I guess I have to wait for some more unknown signals and... Yeah, get some stuff. So up here is, I assume, the command command deck. Yes. 
No, it's a bedroom. Hmm, okay. My bedroom, haha. <laughs> right, what's in here? Uh, grinder. I've already got one. Damn. <laughs> oh well. Money well spent. Speaking of money, there's some there. Alright, uh, is there anything else? I guess I need to have a look around outside as well. Yeah. Alright, well, we're alive. We've got to start. Um, there was nothing else down there. What's in here? Laboratory. Can I do anything with these? No. Some storage in there? No. Bathroom. Another container. Okay. Put you in there. All right. Uh, what was I doing? I wanted to do that. Seven two four. Another unknown signal. Ooh. Okay. All right. Well, I'll go and grab that one, and uh, yeah, I'll probably turn the camera off for a little bit. So, if uh, you're new to my series uh, and you haven't seen Hyphestus Prime before, this is the continuation of Hyphestus Prime. So, Hyphestus Prime was really like a, a book, um, the first volume in a series, and each episode was a chapter, and that's how this will sort of uh, continue. And uh, yeah, so different to my other things, I mean I've got the three minute tutorials, I do workshop videos, and I've also got the Triton which is more of a more of a playthrough, that's the Never Surrender. What's in here? Meat, can I eat meat? Tofu. So, no it doesn't look like I can eat meat. Uh, yeah, so, oh. Food just went up so I can I guess I can eat eat tofu. Okay. Oh that's good. These will just keep me ticking over by the looks. Um yeah, so this uh Aries colony is the second volume of uh the, the story as it were. And I'm just looking to pretty much do the same thing that I did on Hyphestus Prime, which is to start off a base, and that will be here on Aries Colony. Uh, head up into space and do a rather than what I did with Sirius with the orbital platform actually making a, a bit more of a substantial asteroid base which will probably be a lot more in the way of production facilities uh, given that there'll be a lot more ore up in up in space from the asteroids than what's down here and then eventually get to um, I think Pertum will be my next stop so that's um, kind of the plan and we'll just see what happens along the way to make life interesting uh, so we'll just do this so uh, yeah I um, feel like I've made a good start it's um oh, it's display. it's uh, yeah I sort of know where I'm going so what we need to do is buy some more hydrogen I really need a hydrogen bottle is what I need so hydrogen now I need to purchase so much we've got seven thousand. It's not much. Cause things like No good is alright. Or are they? So I need to purchase things that I can't make in a survival kit. But then again I can't make a survival kit. So this this is going to be the sort of challenge of what what I buy, what I spend my money on. Like things like large steel tubes, I can't make in a survival kit, nor small steel tubes. But I'm getting the small steel tubes out of. They're not even in here. I'm getting them out of the uh, the unknown signals, but large steel tubes. And look, they they're not cheap. Hmm. Okay. I think we're just going to have to do uh, unknown signal harvesting for a little while. So, what I think I'll do is um, 
do that for a while. I'll turn the camera off. And uh, yeah, we'll come back when something interesting happens. <laughs> I think would be the way to go. Uh, yeah, there is a vending machine over here though. Let's just have a look what's in here. I think that's all the same stuff that's available inside. As far as I can tell, that's all the same. Yeah. Yeah, power cells is what I would actually really like. Uh, yeah, okay. But they're not in there, so we'll just have to make some money and buy some solar ones, I guess, and get going that way. And, uh, yeah, have to... Have to get to work on an assembler but I need to find some silicon to make the batteries oh things I've got to do things I've got to sort out so yeah leave that with me for a while as I say I'll come back when something uh, interesting happens mm. back soon meteor storm inbound Alright, so we'll come back into it here, and I'm just about ready to sort of sign off. Uh, meteors are coming again, it's my second lot. Didn't see the first lot, and I'm sort of stuck in here, so I don't think I'll see these ones. Oh, they sound close. Uh, yeah, grinder, fantastic. Uh, yes, Ooh, more meteors. Um, yeah, I'm just having, oh gosh, they just keep coming. The last lot were in quite a heavy storm. Uh, and so was actually another one, so it's a bit dicey flying out there, but uh, yeah, it's uh, cleared up now. So, yes, uh, meteors have been coming in. I hate to think what cataclysmic's like, because uh, <laughs> yeah, they've been fairly regularly. Right, so, uh, first of all, we have uh, acquisitions. I've just been keeping those ticking over. Not that I've been doing any, because I haven't had any stuff. But just grabbing them when I get the chance, really. Semiconductor, no, I don't think I have that for a while, but, uh, oh, well, we're not, we'll just keep it up our sleeve. So, yeah, these have been repopulating every so often. And that one there. So you can see I've actually got quite a few now, so that's good. Um, yeah, I was just grabbing stuff out of the armories and the beds again, because that stuff is respawning. So that's, um... That's good news. A uh, little bit of bad news now, and we don't seem to have solar panels anymore. So that's um, that's a bit uh, problematic. Got a hydrogen model. I've got enough for it. Mm, okay. Oh, that's good that that's in there. So uh, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> so you will just keep an eye on that. It is changing that there's a thing that swaps in and out every now and then. Food, we're starting to get a bit low on water, so hopefully there's some water soon. Uh, yes, let's go out and we'll have a look at this unknown signal, and then I will have a look at some of these uh, meteor impacts. So we'll just get this first. I think we can fly there and back, hopefully. Yeah, a bottle would be so useful. It really would. Um, yeah, I've, I've only had sort of two or three unknown signals since, you, since I had the camera on last time. Oh, okay, 53. So we should be able to get back on that. Right, um, how are we going to get at you? Button underneath. Not that I'm really even really worried about the button. Um, more tomatoes. I think no water though, so yeah. Even when these have been a little bit far away, so one of them was actually about 4k's away, which I had to sort of, I could only really fly halfway, or fly there, and then I had to walk back almost. Uh, I kind of have to just keep them ticking over, I can't wait for them to expire before I get another one in. Oh, radio components, I think I could sell them. Uh, yeah, so it's it's an interesting challenge. Yeah, so I hope I do get water soon, because I am sort of um, thinking it. Alright, so let's just see if we can fly back. Alright, fingers crossed we make it. 
and then I'll uh, yeah I think I'll buy a hand drill and we'll have a quick look at some of these meteor craters and then I'll call it a day so a little bit of a slow start probably to watch but I think I think we've sort of set the foundation of the series Fuel low. hopefully I can sort of get things happening next uh, next episode so after all the um, um, after all the excitement of the uh, trailer here this is not super exciting in comparison but that's just sort of the way it was going to be so things things will get uh, more interesting as we go along but I'm actually quite enjoying this because yeah it's uh, it's a change of pace from me after just being absolutely flush with resources um, to be on the other end now is uh, is a little bit of a change and a good change all right so we need uh, hydrogen and we also need a hand drill so that's uh yes right okay so let's um let's just go and have a quick look at some of these craters meteor craters and uh yeah as i say we'll um call it a day uh there was some over here weren't there right so ice okay well that's that's a very good start because if i can make again it all comes back to power but if i can make a o2 generator then i'm going to be able to fill up my bottles how much ice was that oh, 16 not much it's still showing as Hmm, okay. Alright, well maybe maybe I come back to these and uh, yeah we'll um we'll just have a look at these ones. So some gold. Okay, that's that's useful. Uh, yeah. Let's let's just have a look. I'll um I'll come back and mine these um off camera. And over here we've got some magnesium gold magnesium so they're not massive amounts but they will be just uh, enough to sort of keep me going you know even if I get a little bit of platinum it might just be enough to make like an elite elite drill let's actually just have a fly okay here we go uh, is that more ice? I think that's more ice Okay, that's that's looking like some good amounts of ice actually not not enough to get me into space but um enough to fill a bottle hmm okay and yeah if we can get the means to create water and stuff as well so uh yeah okay well uh leave that with me i think and call me both people not no yes uh, yeah, I'll um, I'll continue to have a little bit of a look around, and uh, yeah, that's um, as I say, that's going to be us for today, I do believe. Uh, not a super exciting start, but um, a start. Why am I crouching down? Uh, actually, probably best if I go around this way. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice little view, isn't it? So thank you everybody for watching today. Thank you for joining me on my new series. As I say, probably a little bit dull to watch this uh, first episode, but uh, things will improve. Things will get more exciting. Um, yes. So hopefully you can join me again next time. And until next time, stay safe out there, everybody, and have a good one.